Hello folks, uh, thanks for tuning in to another one of Henco short videos. Uh, today we're uh, taking a peek at the air actuators that are typically going to be on your cutting head or uh, in the, the area of your bleed down valve. Uh, this one here is going to be a normally open valve which is going to be on the bleed down side so we're not going to talk about that one today. Uh, the other ones that I want to speak of are going to be your normally closed actuators. Uh, what that means is this piston in here that engages your needle to your seat at your cutting head and turns off the water at your cutting head is normally closed. It actually takes air to open it up. Um, the reason it's normally closed, there's springs in there and the springs are what keep that closed unless there's enough air pressure to pull that piston up, which pulls that needle up with it. Um, some of the troubleshooting things, these things don't go bad very often. Uh, they're actually a fairly robust item within uh, the scope of water jet. Um, there are some times where your, your cutting head won't open uh, or it won't close fast enough at the end of a cut, uh, things like that. Um, a lot of times we're looking at your, your valve body and your needle and seat, that stuff. But if you've already done those maintenance items, uh, the other thing we want to look at is going to be your actuator. Um, as you can see here, we have one that's been in use for a while. Um, there is a breather on it. It looks like a tiny little cork piece that uh, is held in with a, with a hexagonal screw, um, or it's, it's built in, I should say. Um, you know, once that gets clogged up, there's, it makes it very hard for the air to release from this actuator. That's where the air actually expels out once you try to, once you try to release the air to close the needle to the seat. What that's gonna do at the end of a cut is when your abrasive turns off and your water is supposed to turn off and your machine goes to move uh, to traverse to its next pierce, you're gonna scribe a line in your material uh, with most of the time it's gonna be water only, but you're gonna have that at every single hole unless you increase the size of your dwell. Uh, these are a pretty inexpensive piece, these breathers. Uh, that would be the first thing I would look at. Um, outside of that is, you know, there, there's rebuild kits. You can take these apart and rebuild them. Uh, most of them will have warnings underneath them about how it's all under force because as I said before, uh, they are made with a spring. They are normally closed. That spring is loaded in there. So as soon as you try to take that apart, uh, you are going to have force to push these items apart as you loosen stuff. All right, folks, another uh, common issue that happens that has to deal with your uh, air actuator the more and more you use a spring, the more limber it gets, the softer it gets, the more it starts to wear. Um, once these springs start to go bad, essentially what you have is your, hot, your cutting head won't turn off as fast either. Uh, typically that air is gonna fill your chamber in here, gonna pull that needle away from the seat, and as soon as that air starts to release, if those springs are softer and they don't have the push they used to have, your, your water's gonna turn off a little bit slower. So that's a, it's another thing to look at. Um, the other side of it is if you, I know water jets aren't always the quietest machines in the world. However, if you're having trouble with your water turning on or you getting enough pressure right away, um, a, one of the things that you can check, there's O-rings in there that act as your seals for that air to keep the air in the, in the chamber uh, to pull that, that needle away from that seat. Um, if you're noticing that it's not turning on fast enough or you're losing pressure right away and it has to slowly build up and it has nothing to do with your pump, you've already done that stuff, um, there's O-rings inside this, um, this air actuator that are going to hold the air in there. So if you keep it real quiet and try to put air in there, you can essentially hear the air escaping from here, um, which is going to tell you you need to rebuild this and uh, replace those O-rings. Thanks again, folks, for watching another one of Henko's short videos. Uh, again, if you do have any questions or need a little bit of help uh, understanding uh, exactly how these operate and uh, troubleshooting techniques, uh, definitely give us one of our water jet experts a call at 1-833-4-HENCO.